Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another, admittedly late, episode of Gun Meme Review. I'll get into that in a bit, but first, we've got some awesome stuff we're going to be talking about this episode. We've got, of course, we have to talk about the Grand Thumb Mud Test. We're going to be talking about exploding 50 cals and just more miscellaneous gun meme goodness. I'm excited to be back. I bet you're slightly less excited that I'm back. Let's just jump right in. So the reason this video is a couple days late is because I was actually without power because Texas completely shits itself anytime it dips below freezing. AK people when their normally warm state freezes over. Gotta hold on to that ice test superiority for as long as we can. Which apparently isn't that long because uh, the entire internet gun meme community has gone completely apeshit over Grand Thumb's newest test, his mud test. Now in this test, Mike took his ARs, AKs, a bunch of different uh, just combat rifles, put them all on a table, and then torture tested the shit out of them with a bunch of mud. The ARs overall did pretty well. Some of the other guns did not fare very well at all. Looking at you, M14 gang, the AKs actually did pretty good right off the bat. To the surprise of no one, you get the AK a little bit muddy, especially if the selector lever is up in the safe position. It's not really a fucking problem. It's almost like that's what it was designed for. However, later on, when the selector lever came down and all the guts were exposed, and he started packing mud into it, AK didn't do so hot. So while the AK remains the heavyweight champion cold weather combat rifle, I would not suggest using it uh, after you have been caught in a mudslide. Here, have an AK. People who watched Grand Thumb's mud test. Am I surprised about the results of this test? No, not really. This pretty much is exactly how I expected it to go. As soon as you start putting mud into the actual operating system, all sorts of fucky shit starts going down. That's because the AK doesn't operate on a closed system, not quite like the AR-15 does. It's a lot more of an open system, which has its pros and cons, clearly. But it's definitely not a surprise to me. In fact, uh, people forget, I actually did my own mud test, I think, like, two years ago? God, it's been a while. Where the results were just about exactly the same. Oh, good, it didn't fire. <laughs> Now, if you're an AK guy who thinks that the AK needs a shot at redemption, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're an AR guy who's happy with the results of this test, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. I think the only people that were upset were the people who believed the FUD lore of, you know, the, the AR uh, is super accurate and the AK, you can do whatever you want to it and it'll keep firing no matter what. Yes, it is a very rugged and reliable weapon system. But the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, the AR is way more reliable than people get it credit for, and the AK is way more accurate than people give it credit for. Both weapon systems clearly work, and there's a reason why they're still being used all over the world today. I will, however, use this as an opportunity to dunk on the M14, guys. The AK breezing through the ice test. The AR breezing through the mud test. The M14 fucking up both. AR guys making fun of the AK in the mud. AR guys when they have to walk through a mud puddle and no one puts their jacket down for them. I love all the AR guys that were screaming in the comments with the, the freezing test video where it's, well, you don't even live in a climate, you've never had to operate a weapon in uh, sub-zero temperatures. They're the same ones pretending they're ever gonna have to operate a firearm after it's been tossed around in a cement mixer full of wet dirt. AK guys, watching Grand Thumb's mud test. Why would they do this to me? You want me to feel the pain. Yes, you want me to understand it so that I may show others! Huzzah! Like I said, I think we can all agree that both weapon systems work particularly well if they are built properly. The reliability and performance of the AR and the AK would probably surprise you if you go after something that is top tier, just a very, very well-built gun. It's when you get into the cheap budget crap that you really start running into issues that really just don't reflect all the platform has to offer. So I think I can officially unite AR guys and AK guys all over the internet and all over the world on the one thing that we do actually hate together. Poor people. Your shit tier guns are bad and you should feel bad. Nerf for nothing. Moving on. We of course have to do a Marty Robbins meme. It wouldn't be gun meme review without it. And again, as an apology, because it's, you know, we're a couple days late, I've got two for you guys. Again, because I love you. Guntuber ballads and trail songs. Donut operator. Big Iron, 5 Skater Boys, YouTube's Demonetizing Me Tonight, San Antonio, The Breakdown King, You're About to Eat Taser, Running Gun, John the Kid, Unsubscribe, We Can't Expect to Do God, F can't expect to do God, fuck me. 
We can't expect God to do all the work. The Breakdown King, full length version. Yeah, Cody going in with that full dual wield. Also, dude, we've lived in Texas for over a year now. When are you getting a cowboy hat, man? It's clearly a good look. But speaking of big iron, I've got a question for you guys. Do you carry a gun every day? If you're in Europe, this probably does not apply to you. I know I do. Well, you know, I try to. Good habits, you know. But if you carry a gun, I would highly suggest checking out USCCA. USCCA is the United States Concealed Carry Association. Awesome group, big supporter of the channel. Their whole deal is trying to give you the training, tools, and education for you to feel comfortable carrying a gun every day. Great group that makes stuff like this possible, so I wanted to go ahead and leave the links down in the description and in the pinned comment for you guys to check out. Now to the other Marty Robbins meme. Ghetto AK-50 ballads and trail songs. Lake City Tramp Stamp. Killed a man with a barrel just to watch him die. Two-way ballistics. Orbital dust cover blues. I'm the sheriff of Newton's third law. That's actually fucking beautiful. See, so yeah, if you guys hadn't seen, which you would have if you were subscribed, calling you out, Jeremy. Statistically, there's a Jeremy watching this who isn't subscribed. But I freaked you the fuck out, huh? Yeah, we had that, that video from like a month or two ago where we took the JTS-12 and fired a 50 BMG out of it and kind of explained like there's not really any energy there because it fire forms, you lose all the pressure. It's not really shooting a 50 cal as much as it is just kind of limply throwing out a 50 BMG projectile way, way slower than, you know, an actual 50 cal. So to prove that concept recently, we took the JTS-12, rebarreled it with a real 50 BMG barrel. So we took the 12 gauge barrel out, put a 50 BMG chambered barrel in and turned it down to the exact dimensions pinned it in place and everything just like it was it would run normally and we saw what happened i highly suggest checking out the video but tldr this is what happened the the dust cover got blown off it completely sheared off blew off the top of the gun uh and flew 50 60 yards away which thankfully eli was on it he watched where it fell was able to retrieve said dust cover I would like to thank him for his service. I mean, his purple heart's cool and all, but I mean, this was a real service. Brandon, what do you want a video on next? Us, AK-50. Brandon, how about literally anything else? An AR beat an AK in a mud test. Brandon, we have AK-50 at home. Yeah, hopefully we'll have more time to start working on the, the AK-50 V3 again. We've had a couple of projects that we've been working on that you guys have been asking for. Trust me, I see it. Like I said, I'm a man of my fucking word. I say we're gonna have a looty, we're gonna have a fucking looty. I say we're gonna have a St. Petersburg typewriter, AKA the Kami Tommy, we're gonna fucking have one. I say I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm, and then I read your comments. Brandon Herrera, modifies an AK to be able to fire 50 BMG and proceeds to fire it behind a, an empty barrel, by the way, just to see what happens. Me, scared that the lithium battery inside the iPhone 4 in front of me will explode while I try to take it apart because I'm curious of what's inside. Yeah, honestly, that video and rewatching that explosion uh, over and over, uh, I, I think it's probably time that I get some catastrophic health insurance. My health insurance policy up to this point has been uh, a first aid kit and a tourniquet in the back of my truck right next to an emergency Makarov with a single bullet. And before you Europeans start going off about, ooh, this is America, your health insurance, blah, blah, blah. No, I could get it pretty easily. It would take me like 30 fucking minutes. Uh, I'm just a man child. Uh, who has his priorities horribly out of whack. Why would I bother fucking with health insurance when I could be working on something that's going to cause me to need health insurance? No brainer. Now that we're done with those, time to move on to some just miscellaneous gun memes, and we got some good ones too. First off, new Halo trailer just dropped. I know you weirdos are arguing back and forth about whether Cortana's hot enough or not. My eye was drawn directly to the AK in the very beginning. Yep, a couple hundred years in the future, people are still using the AK, baby. Pretty sure it's the broke colonial uh, separatists, so yeah, that checks out. Reject the assault rifle. Give me that Kalash shit. I don't know, what do you guys think? You excited for it? I, I, I kinda am, but maybe that's because I don't know enough. I've been waiting on a Halo movie since they teased that shit when I was in like fucking fifth grade, all right? Please, Paramount, don't go woke and fuck this up for us, please. Speaking of new things, apparently there was a new product launch. Maybe a SHOT Show? I don't know, I could have easily missed it. It's a big show and I wasn't there for most of it. So what is a riser for a red dot? This is a small one I currently have on my SCAR-17, and yes, it is properly secured now. I did uh, torque down the screws. 
I know in the scar video, I totally forgot to do that. That was not the scar's fault. We hadn't even fired a single round. I just threw this on here and totally forgot that I never tightened it down. But a riser is exactly what it sounds like. It just rises the optic off of the, the rail a little bit. So you get a little bit, you know, better uh, eye relief. Not eye relief, proper height on the, you know what I'm talking about. This riser's a little different. This one's a fucking high rise. It's pretty tall. And it's got that weird forward tongue thing for what looks to be like a pack, like a, an IR laser. It's pretty weird looking and it just so happens to closely resemble the Enterprise. I could be wrong about this. This could be a totally useful product. I just, yeah, to my un trained eye it looks ridiculous okay now let's check on the gun industry yeah ah the gun industry in 2022 who's got a cnc machine and a bunch of solutions looking for a problem i for one cannot really see why this is all that useful considering it seems counterintuitive to have your riser that high just to get it over the pack so you can see without the pack clouding your vision and uh also choose to raise the pack up back into your vision and away from the uh the line of the barrel your hide over bore on the laser is worse. Seems like a bad idea. And if I'm wrong about that, I totally apologize. I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing. Especially when it comes to tactical shit because I, that's not my forte. I'm an idiot, I talk about gun memes and I shoot stupid guns. My autobiography in about 12 seconds. Them, my suppressed SPR is that gassy. <laughs> They're suppressed SPR. Yeah, especially some of your 5.56 guns that are super short with a can. That shit'll have you thinking somebody's cutting onions after a couple rounds. But hey, shooting suppressed is still, you know, Chad shit. Helps mitigate the, <clears throat> the big E. You can't just go into the woods with nods, a case of White Claw, a box of condoms, and a boombox blasting Careless Whisper and expect to find a Wendigo you can fuck. Me. Well, first of all, through God, all things are possible, so jot that down. I will say if you go out into the woods with uh, nods, a case of white claw, a box of condoms, and a boombox blasting careless whisper, you're gonna find something that you're gonna fuck. Also, the Wendigo memes are coming back. Didn't see that coming, but not upset. Me and my FBI agent going through my meme folder that has me scheduled for imprisonment. <laughs> you know, you know some of those motherfuckers looking through this shit think it's funny too. It's fucked because I, kn I know some legitimately good people, some nice people working uh, at the ATF and, and like just the non dickheads, right? You know, your average everyday Joe, the non dog shooters. I know for a fact there's a couple of you guys that are watching and I'd really like to know what's going through your head when some of the ATF memes pop up. Is it just kind of one of those, yeah, PR for the Bureau ain't great. Also, if you do work with the ATF, first of all, hi. Second of all, please tell your superiors that they can kiss dick. I've slept with two former presidents. I speak four languages and I own two Monets. Monets? I don't fucking, I don't remember. I even watched that movie, I don't remember. I mag dumped into some trash today. Not to brag or anything, I'm pretty good at that. Just make sure you're mag dumping into trash in rural environments and not urban environments. Cause uh, you know, in some big cities, you start mag dumping into trash in an alleyway. Um, yeah, it might start leaking. That's where homeless people sleep. Wow, that's an old photo of me. Hey Matt, I bet you can't tell me something that will make me happy and sad at the same time. The AK is about to win a world war. Yeah. The whole Ukraine thing is not going away, is it? Pretty sure we included that in a GMR back in like December and shit is just continuing to get hotter. I don't have shit against anybody living in Ukraine and I don't have shit against anybody living in Russia. Could we all ask our governments to like stop instigating World War III? Because uh, I don't know you, really don't want to have to get drafted and shoot at you. Would love to avoid that whole situation. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, things just keep getting hotter. In fact, uh, Ukraine actually just invited Kyle Rittenhouse to guard their border. If your country's border ever gets attacked by violent repeat offender felons, then well, yeah, he's your guy. Honestly, I think this entire Ukraine-Russia bullshit is just a big publicity stunt. All they're trying to do is get people hyped for when Ukraine 2 drops. Anyhow, I think that just about wraps things up for this episode of Gun Meme Review. Make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube's been doing that weird sub-purge thing again where it's unsubscribing people. So if you see in this video, make sure that you are subscribed so you can keep watching great B-list content like this. Anyhow, I appreciate you guys as always for watching to the end, and I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks, guys. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop. Now in this test, ARs, AKs, and a whole host of other weapons were put out and gone. Fuck.
And now before we move on to the next bit, we of course... Now of course... Now before we move on to the next bit, we... I will say if you're going into the woods with nods, a case of white claw, a box of condoms, and a boombox, blasting careless wee... Careless wee... Weesper? 